had uh, Machida and Vitor, and Vitor did follow through, and I, I I guess he retired. I mean, I guess. He he said the words that sure were close, but it did sound like he was kind of leaving a door open. I mean, at least a little bit. The word, I guess. Yeah, you know, he kind of <laughs> said, like, I, I think I'm at the end of the road. In fact, that's a quote. I think I'm at the end of the road. Open for interpretation. What does that mean? Are you at the end of the road or are you not? But I do think we've probably seen the last of, of Vitor. And it was a hard way to go out. Yeah. Taking that front kick from Machida. But, you know, most guys' careers do in the same way, which is embarrassed. Not very many guys get to go out on top. I mean, they just they just simply don't. If you're on top, you stay and do it again, generally, is the thought. Or have a chance. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, you, you just keep running them out there to not leave anything on the table. And uh, Machida's a hard matchup, though. You know, I drew Machida one time. I had a fight with Machida for about 24 hours. I got a call from the – I was an 85-pounder. He was a 205-pounder. And I ended up fighting Brian Stan instead. It was a, a comeback fight for me. Um, And they called, and, okay, you're fighting Machida. Great. And I remember going to the gym that night. Every motion I was doing, everything I was training, I was thinking, is this even going to work against Machida? I mean, the guy was so weird back then. It was so awkward. He's still awkward as hell now. But now we're seeing a little more. Stephen Thompson's got a little bit of that style. You know, you've see, seen some of these guys that do some of those movements, and you get some footage on them, and you can watch them and break them down. And they're still weird. They're still a hard draw. Uh, but at that time, it was even harder. There was less footage and less of them out there. And the next day, I don't, I've don't. i never known the backstory on what happened. That fight was called off, and uh, Brian Stan and I were on. So, But I, I just remember that feeling of having to deal with Machida. You know, even if it was just for one workout, having him in my sights, it's just a different style. You know, I just thought it was a really hard match for Vitor. And generally, guys do go out down. But uh, against Machida, that's just a hard draw all the way around. From from your last fight to your first fight to a middle fight, you know, Machida is going to be a, a monster to deal with out there. And that's what happened. Bottom line on Vitor, you might have loved him at points of his career and hated him at points of his career, but when it's over, it's it's a death, even if it's the death of a career. And you don't speak ill of the dead. So you only have positive thoughts on Vitor. I guess that's the message I'm trying to You only remember the good things. Never mattered, you know, were there points when I was rooting against him or I didn't like him. It doesn't matter, man. It's all gone. It's gone the second he takes those gloves off and leaves them in the middle of the ring and says, I'm, uh, you know, say la vie. 